Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play... Let's 100%. The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. In the last episode, we were on this quest here. Let's take a look at it, shall we? We've got... Unfriendly Competition. We're helping out the merchants, the Society of Merchants, the lamest... We just have to help them out, because, come on, with a name like that, there's not much going for them, you know? They probably go to bed at night, they probably just fiddle on their calculators, adding 2 plus 2. Or abacuses, I should say. There's no technology in the, uh, in the Elder Scrolls series, at least outside of Dwemer technology, I suppose. But anyways, yeah, they, they just go home at night, you know, add 2 plus 2, that's, that's interesting, maybe add a, maybe, maybe add an odd number in there, you know, 5 plus 3, oof, getting crazy. So yeah, we need to help them out. I've observed a meeting between Thornier and a mysterious man named Argamir. I'm just gonna always put an R there, it's hard to say his name without putting an R there. Agamir. Looks like my new target is Agamir. I should follow him and see where he goes. We're doing that exactly right now. So let's go ahead and get back on track with him because I think he just went into the next section of the Imperial City. So we will go right over here into the Green Emperor Way or whatever this place is called. I forget exactly. Maybe we can see on the map. What is this place called? Imperial City Market District. So I think, if I remember right, they're all connected with certain little paths and stuff. This particular one happens to be... You know what? Let's figure this out. I should know this because I've traipsed throughout all of these passages multiple times. Okay, this one is called Green Emperor Way. Yeah, like I said, I think they're interconnected with these little areas. Oh, no. Where is he? Did he already move to another section? I hope I just didn't screw myself over because I thought he was going to come out over here. Hmm, let's take a look at the map and see where he is now. Talos Plaza District. Let's head there, shall we? White Gold Tower built many ages ago by ancient aliens can be seen, I think, from any area in the Imperial City is what it was going to say. And if we can spot it, these damn Imperials and all of their towers, they all have the same types of towers everywhere. They all have the same... Um, looking towers. I'm not sure exactly where it is. I'm horrible in real life with, uh, <laughs> with, with directions and navigation and stuff like that. My girlfriend has constantly had to tell me over and over again where I am in relation, uh, to the mountains because I live in Colorado and you should, the mountains apparently are always to the west and we'll be driving and she's like, so which direction are we going now? And I'll be like, west? And she just face palms. I discovered that Agramir has a house in Talos Plaza. I should go inside when he's not around and investigate. Tells me to go inside when he's not around, so he's probably not around in the daytime. It's currently 2 a.m. If we wait 8 hours, that will be 8, or sorry, that will be 10 o'clock a.m. And then we'll wait like uh, about 12 hours because he's probably got some shifty stuff to do. We don't know exactly what Agramir is up to just yet, but god damn it, we're going to find out. You bet your bottom dollar we're going to find out. We're going to increase our sneak as we do so. Okay, so it's currently 3 o'clock p.m. Every time there's a loading screen, sometimes there may be like a little thing that activates. Maybe a courier or maybe some little cutscene or something. So I'm always a little antsy. So here's Agramir's house. And it looks like... Let's go ahead and save the game. It looks like Agramir might still be inside because it appears that Agramir is home and the door is barred from the inside. Interesting. So I guess maybe we have to wait a little bit later. Uh, let's wait eight hours then again. That'll put us at 10 o'clock p.m. I guess we could have gone inside. I guess Agamir actually wasn't here the first time around. But we shall see. Another loading screen. So yeah, like I said, maybe like someone will pop up. It doesn't always have to happen like that, but he's still here. It's ironic because the door is barred from the inside, yet it says there's no lock. So it's kind of odd. Uh, let's wait in increments of three hours. I'm not exactly sure when Agramir is supposed to leave. But we keep getting these loading screens, which is interesting. Okay, now I think we're good to go. It's an average lock here. What? Are you kidding me? Okay, he's still home, but yet now there's a lock. That's kind of odd. When does Agramir leave? I forget. Well, currently it's 4 a.m. It's gotta be one of these times. Still locked, or it's, well, still there. Okay, let's try this two more times, and if that doesn't work, I guess I'll just figure it out, because this is taking way longer than I would have thought. Just to break into somebody's house. Come on, you would have 
thought it would be so easy. What, uh, when do you leave, Agarmir? We've, we've waited, like, at all times of the day. Okay, this is the last time we'll try. Are you serious? Does it give me any clues? I've discovered that Agamir has a house in Talos Plaza. I should go inside when he's not around and investigate. I guess it would have to be around the same time that they met up. Uh, he met up with Thorinir. Huh, interesting. Well, I'll see you guys when I figure this out, because I have no clue when he's supposed to be gone. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, currently it is 4.40 p.m. And it looks like we can finally get a lockpicking screen here. Okay, I really need to work on this. It is quite different than using a controller, which I'm so used to. Okay, easy. Move over to the to the right. Now that, I, I could have activated it there. You gotta, I'm just gonna close my eyes and listen. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it! I lost my touch! Okay, yeah. You guys are gonna have to bear with me in the early episodes of the Let's Play. This is just quite different, and also I just suck ass. Ugh! I used to cut these. I might have to cut them again for this series. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna try one more time, and if not, yeah, I think I'll just cut this from... From now on, because, yeah, it's it's tricky, man. I could have pressed it there. Okay, well, at least our security increased. There we go. Yeah, I, I just need to get the hang of that again, because Skyrim's a bit different. Same idea and all that, but a little bit different. And it is a little bit trickier with the mouse and the keyboard than it is normally with the controller, but... Man, Oblivion is trickier uh, than Skyrim. Oblivion's uh, lockpicking is definitely trickier than Skyrim's for sure. It may seem easy. Oh, oh, wonderful. We have another one. Now, the problem with Imperial City Houses uh, is that a lot of... You can't really tell where the... Um, some, some of the time, you can't tell where the doors that you actually want to go to. Because there's always an upstairs. Agrimir's private quarters. You know, these are very easy, actually. So, let's go ahead and open these regardless. And I'm not sure exactly how much time we have. I've, I'm always antsy in um, when watching TV shows and movies that show people like sneaking around someone uh, someone's house. For instance, last night there was a brand new Game of Thrones episode. And somebody was sneaking inside of someone's room. And I was like, oh my god, but wouldn't you be filled with anxiety because you don't know when that person is going to come back? Okay, we are playing as a Khajiit thief, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to be on the lookout for any and all valuables that we can possibly take. And to be considered a valuable... Any uh, jewels, of course, but also just, you know, valuables. We don't need to worry ourselves with stuff that's valued at five or less. Although, we're going to take all paintbrushes. And for those of you that have played Oblivion before, you probably know why. For those of you that have played Oblivion quite a lot, I should say. We've got a whole bunch of books here. Um, it's rare that there's just going to be a random skill book. I do think that they're valued at higher, but I can't remember how close it is to Skyrim's system for realizing if a book is a skill book or not. Come on, Argamir. You, you you give things to a merchant at super cheap. Like, wh why don't you have anything of worth? Can't sleep while trespassing. It doesn't really have anything in here, which is super disappointing. Obviously, we can take all of this stuff, but it's going to bog down our inventory. Um, as a general rule, I don't want to take anything that's like valued at five or less because... It's just not worth it. It's really not, especially because we lose out on some of the value since the items are stolen anyways. Uh, what do we have here? Brief history of the Empire. What a great read. I guess our character is a speed reader. Okay. Still not much. Really disappointing, Argamir. Looks like we have to go down here into the basement. All right, let's try this again. Go, go, to, go to the left. Okay. Stop! Stop doing it automatically. Okay. Okay. There we go. First try. Excellent. All right. And also, we need to sleep because obviously we have a level up that we need to take care of. Looks like there will be something down here. But yeah, let's loot everything just to make sure we don't miss out on any valuables. At least for the first couple of houses. So that we get a feel. See, there's stuff like, you know, pewter cups and... And clothing items and things like that. But unless you loot stuff like... Um, oh, we're going to take all the calipers and the tongs as well. Unless we loot stuff like chests and things of that nature. Uh, you're not going to get too many great items 
as you can see here. Although sometimes, Lion Pelt, worth 10, you will get rewarded. But as you can see, most of these barrels and things, they just don't have much at all. Okay, so what are we looking for here? I found my way into Agramir's basement. The place consists of an odd assortment of clothing and trinkets. Most disturbing is the dirty shovel and mud-encrusted boots tucked into the corner, and the bits of ground bone meal, bone meal strewn about. I suspect Argamir's stock he sells to Thornier is taken from the recently dead. I should continue to search carefully for more solid evidence into this grisly accusation. And here's the bone meal strewn about, as well as the thick cowhide shoes and the shovel. I'd say it's pretty obvious. Macabre Manifest. I found a manifest that seems to detail names of the recently deceased, what they were buried with, and their locations in Cyrodiil. I should take this macabre manifest and confront Thornier, as he may not realize where his merchandise is coming from. Recently deceased, Verdellis Wagarian Imperial City, quilted doublet, green silk pants, gold trim shoes, gold ring. So obviously this is just a list of exactly what it just laid out here. Let's see how long this is. Okay, not that long, but you guys can pause the screen if you'd like to read this. Um, it's pretty inconsequential, just telling you. Actually, let's take a look at the names just to see if any strike out at me. Kseer, no. Noder Cloudseeker, no. Nodaria Wythel, Kayla Swinshell, Dondlar, Holothanius, Oford Gabbings, Selena Rotona. Okay, we're going to take this. Uh, obviously with a lot of Elder Scrolls games, a lot of these names are going to be references to things. Uh, not always, of course, but sometimes. Let's see. Crystal Ball. Eh, no. It's got to be like above five, so it's got to be at least six if we're going to take it. We got a couple of barrels here. Repairs, Repair hammers are always nice and welcome, as well as gold. And we have a chest here with, are you serious? Nothing of value. So disappointing. Yeah, see, he's got all this stuff that's supposed to be of value, but it's really not. It's just not. Nothing in this house has really been above five value, which is incredibly disappointing. Although, paintbrush, hell yeah, we're not going to take the brush jar because it doesn't work the same way. And I'll tell you guys what the paintbrushes are for eventually, but for now we just want to take them. Oh, we've got a red velvet blouse. Yeah, we'll take anything above six. We got another chest here, and it looks like that is about it. So let's go ahead and exit while casting our restoration spell. We need to find a bed, and we need to find Thornier, and we need to exit before Agramir makes his way back to his house. Okay, so let's go to the map, and let's head back to the Imperial City Market District, where we could rest at the Merchant Inn. But it's kind of a bit of a waste of gold, considering we'll find a ton of other beds all around. Okay, I think we're heading right over here to the Copious Coin Purse, one of my favorite sounding names of a store. I love alliteration, as you guys can probably tell from a lot of the titles of my episodes. Hello, Thornier. Welcome back. Taken from the dead. I can't believe what I'm seeing in this book. I'm mortified to think these things here were once on the bodies of the recently deceased. It's just too horrible to comprehend. I don't even know what to say. I, I guess an apology is not enough. What can I do? Help me catch Argamir. Yes, that's the least I can do. First and foremost, I will never meet with him again. I can promise you that. Secondly, I remember him mentioning a place he had to be this very day. Hmm. Yes, that's right. He said that he wouldn't be able to do anything else as he had something important to do. You don't think he would dig up another... Oh, no, he wouldn't. But I guess he has been. Oh, my. What have I done? I don't think he'd do exactly what he has been doing for, like, you know, an unspecified amount of time. I actually do, Thornier. Don't worry. I'll stop him. Yes, you do that. And in the meantime, I'll decide what to do with all these ill-gotten things. I'm so sorry. I mean, I can take them off of your hand if you'd like. I hope everyone can forgive me for not doing a better job checking up on my sources. I don't even want to look at it for another moment. Then give it to me. 
I'll take them. I'm gonna check his I barter the just to see. Finest goods and lowest prices in. But obviously, city. yeah, none of his prices go down. These imperial breaches are still almost seven thousand gold. Is there anything we want from you? You've got garbage, man. You've really got garbage. But is there anything that I want to sell to you? Actually, yes, there is. Uh, let's see. I'll sell you this brass ring. Oh wait, before we do that again, we want to haggle and try to raise this a little bit. Um, right at the start, it's probably not going to work out. You can see it doesn't even change, but a fine trend. There you go. A there you go. Trend. There you go. There you go. You drive a hard bargain. Green robe hood. What are we currently wearing? Oh, a fur helmet. Yeah, sure. Take that. Take my sock a sack cloth trend. pants. We'll keep the nor uh, novice mortar and pestle just in case we want to mess around with that a little bit. Whoa, what does this icon mean? Apparatuses. Is that like uses? I actually don't know what this is. I've never paid attention to this little sign right here. Interesting. Um, potion of illness. Yeah, we can keep some po or poison. We can keep some poisons. Those are going to help us out with our arrows. Cure disease, sure. Healing, yes. Healing. Respite. Restore fatigue. Going to sell these because fatigue's not usually that big of a problem. That's more than I'd usually pay. Um, sorcery we'll keep as well. Mort flesh. Get rid of that. A fine. Rat meat, no thank you. Sacred lotus seeds, we're gonna save just because they sound sacred. Stinkhorn camp, goodbye. Wisp death stock, wisp stock You've caps. Where did I see bit of death? Gold. We'll save all of the uh, notes. We'll save those, and looks like we are good to go. Thank you very much, Thornier. Another satisfied customer. Yeah, kind of odd that you would I say that. You can forgive me. I had no. Yeah, I. I don't need your apologies, man. You know, it, it is what it is. How are you? Let's let's just go ahead and move on. We will actually take a nap in the Merchant Inn just because it's better to get the level up faster than sooner, or sooner than later, <laughs> I should say, uh, because we could obviously use those skills. Hi there. What can I do for you? I need a bed. I do have a bed available for twenty gold a night. Would you like to rent it? A little expensive for my taste, but I'll take it. Very good. It's up the stairs there. First door on your left. Sleep well. Thank you very much. And what I have to say about the Imperial City Hi. is that you really do feel safe sleeping inside of it. You really do. You've got all these walls around you. You're in the city. Constant people talking. People on alert. Up at night. You just feel safe. What is this? Wanted. The Gray Fox, wanted for theft, embezzlement, forgery, pickpocketing, counterfeiting, burglary, conspiracy to commit theft, grand larceny, tax evasion, slander, fraud, perfidy, and impertinence. Description, wears a gray cloak that conceals his appearance. Interesting. Presumed male and Colovian, height between five and six feet. Normal weight, hair and age color, hair and eye color, unknown. Any citizen, citizen with information should contact the Imperial Watch. Watch Captain Hieronymus Lex. Interesting. I know there's well, going to be at least one or two comments saying, Oh, that's the Gray Fox, GV. He's a blah, 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 blah. I, I know. I know. I'm trying to paint the picture that our character here, Dardesh, is, is interested. Okay, so here is our room. Let's close that for some privacy. Now, before we go to sleep... It's really nice that they stock the rooms, by the way, with food. This would probably spoil if they're not paying too much attention. But, yes, before we go to sleep, is there anything here that we could possibly make use of? we have here galarian the mystic valued at eight gold not bad go ahead and steal that what do we have here a letter i can't wait to see you tonight my every day is spent thinking about when we will next be together soon we will be married and we can be together forever your true love even more interesting let's search this nothing really inside of here that we can make use of okay let's go ahead and take it oh and search this cupboard Nothing in there as well. All right, let's go ahead and take a nap. Uh, it's 7.26 p.m. Let's sleep for 12 hours. Get a nice long rest. As well as a level up to level three, which should grant us a new little text passage that I do like reading. They're interesting to me. I like how they change for every level. You have ascended to level three. You realize that you are catching on to the secret of success. It's just a matter of concentration. Okay, agility and speed, again, because they get some bonuses. We also have a personality and a willpower bonus. Now, as far as uh, role-playing goes, it's not as in-depth as a Fallout game. Um, really, they just confer bonuses, and I, the character that we're playing would not be that personable, especially, again, because he's a Khajiit. So, if I were role-playing, 
and that was my main goal. I would put the last bonus into willpower over personality, but personality is probably going to go much farther. Affects how much people like you, which leads to better information. Gathering governs the skills of speech, craft, mercantile, and illusion. I might just put it into this just because it will help us out with selling our stolen goods. Uh, governs destruction, alteration, and restoration. This will help us out with restoring health. But let's go personality. That will just be better. Okay, and we are now level 3. Not bad. And we've also got some bonuses towards level 4 as well. As you probably noticed. Actually, let's take a look around here. Assassination. The Black, Her uh, Black Horse Courier is too long to read out, but you guys can pause the screen if you would like to. I think they come out with more and more issues, but I'm not exactly sure. I've probably read each one of them once, but never again, just because they are super duper long. And I get antsy and I want to play some more. Okay. Now, before we leave this establishment, let's just uh, take a quick peek. This is a hard lock. Let's see if we can get it on our first try. One down. Go right! Oh, this is so annoying. Two down. Three down. Oh, boy! Okay. That, that makes me feel really good. Hey, take a look at that. We've got two bottles of skooma here. Valued at 75 gold. Gonna be hard to sell, though, considering it's an illegal drug. And another paintbrush. Thank you very much. What else do we have in here? A cupboard with a torch. And not much else. But that's pretty nice. Rewarded. Already. Two bottles of skooma. Sweet. Okay, moving right along. How about in here? Let's close that so we have a little bit of privacy. We do have a chest with some calipers, which we will start to save as well. And some gold. The calipers... You guys will realize why I'm going to be saving these calipers in due time. We have a handbill. The copious coin purse has goods from beyond the shores of Anvil. All manner of exotic items are available on our shelves. We have the widest inventory in the city. False. You definitely do not. I've seen definitely more and better inventory from other places. Better inventory, I should just say. More sounds incorrect. Note. Go to the end of the street. Turn left. Take the next right. If you see the house with the fallen roof, you've gone too far. Knock twice, pause, knock again. They'll let you in. Be sure to have the money. Interesting. Go to the end of the street, turn left, take the next right. House with fallen roof. Let's try to remember that. We also have another letter. Letter. I was heartbroken when you rejected me. Tell me what I can do to win your heart. I will slay trolls, walk through thorns, fast for a week. Please don't shut me out of your life. I love you more than a flower needs sunshine. Your penitent lover. And we'll go ahead and take that as well. We're not only a stealer of goods, but also a stealer of secrets. And we've got quite a few under our belt thus far. Okay. Let's go ahead and exit Sneak Join. for now. Join you in what? No thank you, sir. Greetings to you. Thank you very much. Excellent room you had there. Appreciate it. Okay, now go down the street. If you see the fallen roof. I'm not actually sure what that's referencing. The fallen roof. Let's just go down uh, really quick to check. We'll go down this street. It says turn left. If you see the fallen roof, is it that? You've gone too far? I don't know what this means. Is there like a door back here? Huh. Uh, yeah, like I said, I actually don't know what that's referencing. Maybe somebody in the comment section will know. Uh, we also need to be jumping around as we're moving throughout areas to increase our acrobatics. And thus go towards our, I believe, agility. Okay, let's take a look at our quest. After showing the Macab manifest to Thornir, he agreed to stop meeting Agamir. He also told me that Agamir said he had something important. We already know all this, though. Let's go meet him at the Imperial City Palace. I think we might have to exit into one of those passageways I was referring to, but maybe not. Let's see. Looks like our goal is right over here. That is definitely not Argamir unless he's wearing a dress. I've noticed that the door to the Trenitus, Trentius family mausoleum has been unsealed. This must be Agamir's doing. I should proceed inside. Hi there. Hi. Got business to attend to. Okay, so we're looking for an open tomb. Is it this one? Trentius family mausoleum. Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and save the game. Right about here. 
and our sneak, pull out our bow, and head inside. Okay. I've located Agamir inside Trentius Family Mausoleum. Inside the Trentius Family Mausoleum. It appears as though he's attempting to desecrate another grave along with someone else I don't recognize. I need to convince him to stop this heinous act. Well, I wanted to get a sneak attack off of him, but okay. I had a feeling you'd catch on sooner or later. That's why I had this trap prepared for you. If you'll notice, the grave is already dug. This time, it wasn't to take something away from the graveyard. It was to add something. I'm afraid all I can offer you is an unmarked grave. Yeah, well, we'll Show see about that. Okay, he's got a friend with him. Roll, Garel. We have to be really careful here because this is actually going to be pretty tough. Okay, down goes Rogarel. Let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. We'll use our the entirety of our magicka. can't catch me. Okay, now to take on Agamir. Our willpower is being drained, but that's fine. I don't need willpower to fire my arrows straight and true. That's probably the lamest thing I've said thus far in this Let's Play. And see you later, Agamir. Agamir has been slain. Since the penalty for grave robbing is death, it somehow seems as though justice has been done. I should search the gravesite for anything potentially, potentia, potentially incriminating. Okay, let's take our arrow back if we could find it. No, no luck. Iron arrows. Dark shirt, doe skin, no thanks. A couple of keys, though. And 12 gold, pretty lame. But also, as I'm sure a lot of people thought I was going to miss... Where did it go? Oh my god, do not tell me again it happened. Did it really just fall through the floor again? Another weapon? Yeah, there was a sword called Debaser and it like fell on the ground. Are you serious? Dude? Oh wait. Oh, there we are. Debaser. And we've got Rolgarel here who's got some iron arrows. I believe those belong to me. A whole bunch of iron armor. Uh, Let's see. I think we... How much does this stuff weigh? We could probably afford to take all of it. It's weighed at a little bit, but we'd have to sell it immediately, pretty much. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And let's take a look at that sword. Debaser. Blade, one hand. Drain willpower, five points for 20 seconds on strike. Drain endurance, five points for 20 seconds on strike. Not bad. I believe that's our first unique weapon. We do not use swords, however. At least not right now. So we'll just keep that in mind. Now we have to look for something incriminating... I suppose. We've got a whole bunch of uh, sarcophagi here. We can activate them, but they're not seeming... They don't seem to be doing anything. Caliban Trentius. Daladus Trentius. Raldos Trentius. And let's see what we have here. Uh, we do have some incriminating things here. The shovel, the, the pickaxe, but... Lord Bellarus Trentius. It's quite interesting. He was going to keep us... In someone else's coffin. An unnamed coffin at that. What a jerk. Logos. Nothing. Wadarius. Opelidus. These names. Myra. And this one we we can't actually activate, which is quite interesting. Athletic skill increase. Athletics uh, increases automatically. If it wasn't clear. Do we... Do we actually need to grab something? Do we still have this quest active? I should search the gravesite for anything potentially incriminating. Okay, well, how about his shovel? Oh, Agamir shovel. There we go. I've acquired Agamir shovel, still damp with the fresh earth of the open grave. This is the final bit of proof I need of Agamir's crimes. I should bring it back to Thornir. And nothing else has his name. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we will finish off this quest as well. Begin a new on something entirely different. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you there. Bye-bye.